What's up guys, welcome to Randy's Kitchen and today I am going to be cooking salmon, asparagus, and I'm going to be throwing down with some spinach. Alright, so these are your ingredients and I'm going to be teaching you how I cook my salmon, okay? Uh, this is one of my favorite foods, I love fish. I love, um, you know, because of the benefits, how easy it is to cook, and the taste. Salmon is one of my favorite fish. Now, I don't over uh, season my meats and foods because um, they already have their own flavor. So I'm basically going to show you what I do here. So first things first, I have the grill heating up for the asparagus. I'm going to sharpen up my knife. Okay. So first things first, I got to cut up all, all these ends on the asparagus. This is the pan I'm going to be using to cook my salmon, alright? Um, I don't like the uh, pans that have like rubber or plastic handles because you can, uh, they're less versatile than these. But I already know I'm going to use oil and I know I'm going to use the cooking here for my salmon. So what I'm going to do is use the same pan to season up and get my asparagus ready. That way I don't dirty any more dishes than I have to. So, boom. Throw that in, in there like this. I go up and get my olive oil. Because remember, I'm already going to use this pan for my salmon. So I throw in some oil. For my asparagus, I'm not, you know, I don't over season. I like to put just regular garlic powder. I think that goes really well with the asparagus. And I flip it, kind of smother it with the uh, olive oil. And then I sprinkle a little more. You know, get them nice and wet with that olive oil because that olive oil gives us a great flavor, guys. And uh, basically, as soon as you uh, put a little bit more, and uh, as soon as you see that the asparagus is kind of like, you see how it's all covered with the uh, olive oil? It's kind of glistening at you. Then you're ready to go. That's all I do to my asparagus. The grill right here, you probably can't see it in the camera, but you're probably going to hear it while it starts to cook the uh, asparagus. But I uh, just place all of that in the grill. And uh, it doesn't matter what kind of grill you have, as long as it gets hot and it cooks food, right? Uh, it could be, you know, the, the foreman, it could be cheaper one, it could be whatever. And I try to fit as much as possible so I don't do this too often. So that's going to be one time, once all of that asparagus is cooked, then I'm going to throw the rest of it in there. Look at that piece of fish. Okay, and I like to cook mine with the skin already on it because it gives it an extra flavor. I kind of take it off at the end anyways. But look at that, that's beautiful guys, salmon. Now, you're going to really be surprised about how I season my fish. You're gonna be like, wow, that's it? Watch this guys. So you can see I just took it out of the package, right? All I'm going to do is cut it into two pieces. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Boom, got that, right? So that is, my preparation right there. And the next thing I do to it is salt. Here's the secret, guys. Meats and fish have their flavor, right? They have their own, you know, that's why steak tastes like steak and fish tastes like fish. So all I do, guys, is add something to bring that flavor up, AKA salt. The only meat that I add different stuff to is chicken. As you guys know, I use sazon and, uh, you know, adobo and different, you know, garlic powder and stuff. But for my salmon, all I use is salt. That's it. And you guys, if you, if you try this at home, you're going to realize that it's going to come out better than if you added more stuff to it. Because the theory is that when you add a lot of seasonings, it's going to come out better. But that's not necessarily true. Sprinkle a little bit of salt guys, throw it in some olive oil, and watch the, the magic happens. Alright, so now the pan is pretty much heated. So I'm just going to add a little bit more oil. 
Not enough to where it's gonna be like frying the fish, but you, you wanna have enough, all right? And of course, it's olive oil. That's all I cook with because it just I love the flavor of it. You're gonna need some tongs and the fish, right? Now the secret, guys, is to put the, the, the fish with the skin down first. See, it's ready, it's, it's pretty hot already. Boom. There we go. And I like to have, I, I like to cook my fish at high heat. Trick also, guys, is to not touch the fish. What I want to do is to cook that fish on that side for about four to five minutes. And I'm timing it with my uh, Feeble Fit 2. Four to five minutes, right? And then what you're going to notice is that the fish starts to cook almost halfway, right? From one side up. Once that happens, then you flip it. And you only flip it once. And then once you put it on the other side, you cook that side for the same amount of time. And of course, until you see that the, the, cooking, the cooked version of the fish starts to go up to the middle, right? And basically, that is it, guys. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, guys, so take a look at the salmon. If you, if you look, I'm still cooking on it, right? But you see how up to the middle is kind of getting white? That means that the, the fish is being cooked and it's almost all the way through the, to the middle, right? That's what I mean by that. Once you see that, you know it's almost ready. All right, so watch this. All I did was flip the, the fish over, right? But watch what I'm going to do next. You see the skin is still on there, right? But what I'm going to do is just take it off and watch how easy that happens. All I do is kind of like use my tongue and grab it like this and it'll just peel right off. Look at that. Just like that, the skin comes off, guys. It's crispy. If you like the salmon skin, by all means, eat it. But I don't, because it's way too fishy for me. All right, guys, and now you get to see what the end result is. As you can see, it is delicious. Look at how crispy that salmon came out. And that asparagus is just perfectly cooked. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And uh, go ahead and try it. Let me know what you guys think. You know, don't over-season your food. Just a little bit of salt and you'll be good.